So we initially started about six years ago with dairy goats because my brother was allergic to a lot of things. So goat milk was the easiest for him to have. You can put it in pretty much anything. As soon as school got out, I decided to try to make this ice cream and uh, we experimented with different flavors and now I have quite a few flavors. And so I've been selling it around the community. It's anywhere from sherbet to m and ice cream. My most popular is probably chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla, typical flavors, but um, a lot of people like orange sherbet. That's probably the best flavor. It's $2 for um, a medium-sized container and then a dollar for a little serving. So we are really big into dairy goats, but we started out with um, two pygmy goats and kind of grew from there. And we bought our first milk goat and tried to experiment with the different things. And I made soap and soft cheese. And I thought that was really cool because when I graduate, I want to have a milking operation. So um, you pasteurize the milk after you're done milking and everything. And um, I actually use gelatin base. You mix it with that and sugar. They're actually kind of surprised. They're like, I never would have thought, like, everybody's like, ooh, goat milk, gross. <laughs> but then they try it and they're like, actually, that's not all that bad. And then you can tell them all of the products that are out there <laughs> you could potentially try. Our community is extremely supportive, so everyone tells everyone. <laughs> so then everyone buys from me. I think when other people try to buy from me, though, they're like, oh, it's a 16-year-old girl. I can talk her down. But yeah. I can stand my ground, yeah. it's easy. <laughs>